flowers every time I sing your song. DJ Flip, make, make the money flip. Why you wanna break my heart? Tell me little pieces and I can't talk. down you should have like this so 185 is going to be all this is long piece and 111 is going to be the small side so 111 is basically this side with the rectangle building in the back like this and the long side is like this this is going towards the Empire State Building on this side the long side and the other side is going towards the Flatiron and World Trade Center on this side and this space is going towards the Hudson Yards and back there is going towards the Chrysler building basically just for those who want to make it like based off real life so after you got the tracing down what you want to do is get rid of the grass or whatever you're you know building on like just get rid of one layer of you know the land you're on so this is where you know I start so just you know dig all the grass out if you want it's up to you but if, if I was you I would because obviously we're going to need it once you got the land dug out or not and chose where you want the main arena to be or the rectangle back there to be we're going to do the circle first so for the circle you want to make it go way you know go towards where you want to put it which in my case way back here so on the short side, you want to get your polish and insight and make it four right there. So make it four by four right here. So three and then four. So it's going to be, you know, this thick right now, right against the sidewalks. And just drag this design all the way on the short side only to the other side okay and then go back to where we started starting from this end site right here in the edge corner this one you want to count to a hundred and nine okay so one zero nine so you know one two three four you know five six seven a hundred and nine going you know with this design up, okay. So go to a hundred and nine blocks, starting from that one you started from, and then connect them, making a giant square out of the polish ended site, okay. All the polish ended site in place. It should be four over here, and four going up this way. Now get any concrete color, just anything. For right now, get for right now. I'm going to use red concrete. And we're going to make a giant red square for to make the circle. You can see from here that it's supposed to show like how we're going to get that circle soon. So right here it's a short side, okay, where that little you know little red tangle is right in front of it. It's on this side, okay. Just know which side is which. So four right here. And when you're, you see how like the grass is, you know, between them. So right here, you're going to put a block of red, okay? So it should be exactly like this, like the very corner. So put a red block right there. And then on the other side, it's the same thing, but the opposite direction. So, you know, it makes a perfect 4x4 four four kind of thing right here. So these stay themselves, it's just the red block's going to be right here where the next one begins. And then going towards the rectangle building over there, you put the red block way over here going towards, you know, the next section over here. So instead of putting it right here, like that one over there, you put it way over here. Same place, just, you know, on the edge. See? And then same thing for the other one over there. So you're going to make a red square on top of the 
and inside like this. So basically just make a red row against the three over there, see it? So this is for the long side. So it makes three right there, four right here, and then drag it over here, right on top of the empty grass. So you just want to make a square, and to get things done a little faster, all right. So once you get your square, you want to make going towards the you know the very you know edges of the square. You want to make just you know one diagonal like this. So just keep on doing this until you hit the other corner way over there and then same thing for those corners over here just so you can make a giant you know X like this so you want this basically but a giant one and when you get your X you then want to put one block in the middle of it and then make a cross in the middle of that and get rid of the diagonals and you'll end up with something like this at the very end alright you should have this so in total this thing should be 105 by 105 okay so 105 every side here 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 and here all sides now you can keep them or get rid of them but if I was you get rid of the diagonals and keep only the the straight lines okay but just get rid of the diagonals keep the one right here in the middle up that way you know that's the middle and just to get things out of the way done fast go to any of the the straight lines here go to the the walls going towards the end site get your gray concrete out and go on top of it for right now just put one standing up in the middle like this you know that's the main middle and go to the left or right, mostly to the left right now. Go left and add seven more to it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then go down. Then go. Then go about, let's see. Go five out. Get rid of that one. So you have five right here. And then go down again then add four then down again add two then down again add three then down again add two then again by two and then again by two so she have three twos right there and then put one diagonal right there then put another set of two and then one right there again and put another one again so she have like this then put two set right there then add, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, yep. Add five, one diagonals. If you kept the diagonal like this in place, it should end up with one of them on top of it like this. So you need five in total. So one, two, three, four, five. Yep. And then put another diagonal. This time go down. So she have five diagonals right here, and then go two down like this. Then go left still by one right there. Then another one. Then instead of two down. Then go down by one right there. And then put two sets of threes. So that's one right there, two, 
and then three. Then keep on going down, add three, then two, then a four, then a five, three, four, five, and then you end up with seven. Three, four, five, six, seven, and then you should be in the middle. So this is the circle you should have, okay? So to make it easy for you, just go to the middle lines that I told you to keep. Put them like this so you know that's the main one, like this, see? So it's 7 right there, 5, then a 4, then a 2, then a 3, then a 2, then a 2, then a 2, then a 1, 2, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 2, one, two, 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 three, two, four, five, seven. So it should look like this. Just so you guys can get, you know, what part you need. What you want to do is basically just mirror this. It's the same exact, you know, style but on the other side. So seven right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then five. Then a four. You get the you know, you get what I'm trying to say. So just do this exact design. You can watch it over and over basically if you want. And do it on, you know, until you get a whole circle. Now you should have a whole circle. It should look like this from above. Just so you can know what you did right or wrong. So here's what it should look like from right there. And once you got your circle done, you can now Get rid of the red, you know, everything, the red lines everywhere, even the middle one. And replace the red line you did out here and put the gray concrete underneath it. Wherever the gray concrete was, you put, you know, the layer underneath it like this, see? You want three layers of gray concrete, okay? So just get rid of all the red and put the gray concrete where the circle shape is, okay? Stuff cleaned up and the gray concrete in place like this. It should look like a perfect circle, three walls tall like this. Now get your cut sandstone and place it outside the gray line going on the end side you did outside. Starting from this end, starting from this cut stone, you want to go to 26, okay? So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Alright. So the, the, the easy part about this is that you want to get your cut stone and basically trace around all the gray concrete that you just did. And raise all of it up to that same as 26 blocks to get that. And I'll be back with you when you're done. And still in place. Hopefully you're still here. Now go down to the end site, the back, which is going towards the rectangle. Get your smooth smooth stone or whatever you use as your sidewalk. Put two right there. Then put Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So put eleven stone or whatever you use for your road right here, and then put smooth stone again. 
and drag this all the way to the opposite side. And once you've done that, all this is going to be stone. So just, you know, fill it all in with stone. You got all the stone filled in place. Go towards the building right here. The sidewalk right here. We just placed earlier. So go five blocks away. So one, two, three, four, five. Place a block there just right now. You can go to either side. Wait, looking away from the building. It's on the long side. So starting from next to the sidewalk, count to 19. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. On the 20th block, right there. So in your case, connect these together wherever you started this. So starting from this block right here, it should be about 29 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 29. So remember, 19 blocks away. Five next to the stadium so 29 and starting from right here all the way down there should be about 73 okay so 73 so drag your tracing you know for right now making a giant rectangle across the street so it should be 19 on this side too so 19 and over there 19 and back here, you should have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 27. So you should have 27 back here. Okay? So just have this right now. We'll get ready for the next part. So get your smooth stone out. Go to the corner. Count three blocks away. Put another one, three blocks away, another one. And you want to do this design on every single side. So it's three blocks empty, then a smooth stone. For those who did the, the Wells Fargo building, it's kind of like the same pattern. You can obviously tell from right there, it kind of looks like it. So just do this pattern for all the sides and to get things out of the way faster from this block right here you want to make it go to 102 okay so 102 starting from this so you know 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 you know to 102 okay so raise each single one of these smooth stones like those down there you placed to 102 Got all that up there. Now get your gray glass and put it one block inside the building. So it should look like this. Now put, make it three blocks tall like this. Get your blue concrete out. Put it like this in front. Then continue it. And do and then put a black concrete right here, then a gray concrete right on top of it. And for right now, do this pattern on all four sides. Okay, so three windows there, blue line, three windows there, black line underneath it, then gray right here have this. Now on the gray lines put one right here, two glass right there, 
and then cover the glass like this. But before you continue this design, yes, you're going to do that design on all four sides, all the way up here, but when you get up here, you want to put two smooth stones right there, get rid of four down here. So two smooth stones right there, then one, two, three, four. After the fourth one, you can put the gray line again like this. So you want nothing here, okay? But all this is going to be the gray concrete and glass like this. All the way straight down and up. So continue this design on all four sides like this. You should end up with something like this soon. Done in the roof like that. Now for the black lines, you can see from there. Your windows look like this right now, but to get these black lines, from the very bottom, from this first block you placed, go up to 39. So this should be 39 blocks right here where this red line is. And right on the 40th one, which is right here, you then put black concrete in here. And just do that for all the sides. Once you got the gray lines done down there, now go back to the roof. You already can tell what we're going to do already. Get your stone out, make it two by two layer. So just trace around the black li the gray lines and put your stone in place like this. And once you got that, you want to put a block inside of it like this. Raise it up until you hit the first smooth stone, like this. And just cover the roof in either stone or in, you know, whatever you use for your roofs. And then for this, you just fill it in with stone. And that's it. So, so far you got this done and you got the basic shape for the stadium. In part two, we're going to do more on it. Of the stadium we're going to do like the down here and of course the lights probably and the you know the roof and the little bridge that goes between these two